Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Today, I'm gonna be using the VPR submachine gun. <laughs> you guys know I love using the best of the best out of everything and this gun right now is top tier. I just go on a rampage using this gun. I really enjoyed using it, but it's going to get nerfed. Here is me going on my opening rush and my controller is literally broken right now. I'm having trouble sprinting and stuff like that. So I'm just coming around to the back, make sure it's cleared. Now I'm going to jump up to this truck here and I'm checking the death zone, making sure it is cleared, right? I see an enemy back there. I take him out and oh boy, get wrecked. Don't come at me like that. You have one chance against me. Just one. And look at this. Yeah, keep coming zombies. Keep coming. I will destroy all of you. Bring your team. I teach my subscribers how to be elite in this game. You're just gonna be an example when you come at me like that for them. So my thoughts on the VPR submachine gun. This gun is strong. It is very strong and you will destroy with it. It is very good in all situations in fact. I can beat ARs and LMGs at range. I love getting the long shots with this weapon. Oh, oh my goodness. You just got destroyed on camera boy. I'm sure he's gonna get flashbacks in the middle of the night of what just happened. And you know what? I'm actually glad they made the VPR so OP. Why? Because the community will finally see what truly is an overpowered weapon. I know a lot of scrubs like to say the NV4 is so OP. No, it was never OP. And of course, they just need any excuse to blame something rather than looking at themselves and improving. You must always examine yourself first before you blame something else. So yes, the VPR is overpowered. And why is it OP? Well, this gun outperforms other weapons in their own category, such as an AR, LMG. I can outshoot an AR or LMG with this weapon, cross map people with this weapon, and I can destroy up close as well. They have no chance. Right now, I'm just using it. I made sure and level up all the attachments, you know, unlocked everything. I even have Dark Matter, as you can see, on this weapon. And did you see that? I just ducked under his shots. He couldn't even keep up. And look at that zombie in the dead zone coming at me. Where are you going, boy? Sit down. So I do recommend you guys using the VPR. I'm sure you guys have been doing so and unlocking everything for you, getting your camo challenges done. But the slide kills were just not working for me. I got a lot of slide kills, but some of them were not registering. So that's quite strange, but I did get eventually get Dark Matter. And if they ever gave me the Yokai for this VPR, that's an epic version of the VPR. I would just, this game, I'll just end this game. I'll just end all my enemies. They'll just quit out straight away. That gun is insanely good. And it's a stealth weapon. It's an assassin's weapon. But I don't have it. The only epic weapon I have so far is the Mauler Mammoth after they nerfed it. And the Irad Cerberus, which isn't that great. But that's part of being a top tier player. You don't need these epic weapons in your supply drops. You don't need that luck. You can use any weapons and just destroy with it. You guys see me, how I perform and how I absolutely dismantle the enemy team. Now, as for balancing the VPR, I've seen many posts saying, you know, they should do this, they should do that. And a lot of them I would disagree with. I believe what they can do to fix the VPR is give it a decent amount of recoil, which will add skill for using this weapon. It will make your cross map shots a lot more difficult and not easy to perform by players. So of course it would actually take some skill to do that and make you think twice of going for those long range kills because you're using an SMG, right? You're supposed to be using it at close to medium ranges. Also, the damage should be slightly reduced. You don't want to kill the gun, but the damage should be slightly reduced with a time to kill is slightly higher. Again, we don't want to destroy a good weapon and we don't want to reduce it to a weapon nobody wants to use, right? As for the attachments, I believe Grip, Crick Draw and Suppressor are the attachments to use on this VPR SMG. But I will get back to you, I will come back with another video in the future after they nerf the weapon and give you the best class setup for the VPR. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the VPR SMG. This gun is OP. Make sure that you use it, get those attachments unlocked. And I know some of the developers look at this channel. So please guys, if you're watching, don't kill the weapon. Make it good and make it competitive. But of course, don't kill the weapon and don't keep it OP like this at the moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did guys, it would help the channel out. Please share the videos guys to help me grow, I would appreciate that. And do subscribe if you haven't already. 
40 KD with the VPR. More gameplay to come. This gun is amazing and use it while it lasts. Take care. Bye.